seldom seen, rarely photographed. This is where we hope to find him. His natural habitat. I am speaking, of course, of the wild John Gannon. And here is where our pursuit begins. John Gannon is, in the word of Peter van Kynenberg, ubiquitous. He's found all through the world and some distant hotel hallways as well. And though he blends in well with his surroundings, he can be tracked. And that is what we'll do today. <laughs> he is a cunning, wily beast. Perhaps we can draw him out with his high pitch challenge used most often during the seasonal rut. HP! <laughs> Footprints. Dare we hope that they may lead back to his nest. John Gannon has definitely been here. I've picked up the trail of the John Gannon and some nifty brochures. John Gannon has in fact checked in. We're hot on the trail. And I've just given myself an upgrade. Amazing. The nest of the John Gannon. Signs of his molting, where he literally sheds one set of clothing for another. Something quite amazing. Hair off the John Gannon back. That's attractive. The toast is still warm. A sign that the John Gannon has been here recently. <laughs> the unmistakable scent of the John Gannon. Hmm. He seems to be squirreling away supplies in case of that cold sale cycle coming. Or he could just be cheap. John Gannon is often spotted here as the food is free. We've been patiently waiting here for four hours, but yet no John Gannon. Thank you. The secret to bagging the elusive John Gannon is patience. John Gannon is often spotted here, as the food is free. We've been patiently feeding for the last 14 hours, and no John Gannon. Thank you, William. The secret, the secret to catching the John Gannon is patience and patience. <laughs> right, that was taking too long. Besides, we've just gotten word that a lone John Gannon has been seen grazing in a meadow nearby. He seems to suspect nothing. This may be our chance. <laughs> There he is, a magnificent specimen. They will often meet in small herds called corporate planning meetings. This time, we're lucky. He's alone. We've prepared a mild tranquilizer which will allow us to approach our subject. There is nothing more dangerous than a startled John Gunn. <laughs> we'll have to work fast. The tranquilizer only works for a few minutes. Easy there, big fellow. It looks painful, and it is. <laughs> Excellent teeth. He's a big one. His own hair. 
Soon, we will release this John Gannon into a suitable habitat where he may interact with members of his own kind in the wild American kingdom. Till our next great American adventure.